In this video, we're going to talk about project, targets, and tasks. We had some understanding on all these tags, but let us try to get into more details. First, let's talk about the project tag. The project tag is the root tag for all the tags that you define within this XML. And there's just going to be one project tag per XML and is going to take the following form along with its mandatory attribute default, which would point to a default target. So this also means that it's mandatory that you specify at least one target with some tasks in it. Well, you don't have to really mention the task, but there's no meaning of target without specifying the task. Apart from this attribute, you can also specify a couple of more attributes for your project tag, and those are base dir and the name attribute. The name represents the project name, and this will come in handy for certain tasks for example, let's say that you wanted to create a var file of your project. Then that task can certainly make use of this name to create the var file with this name. Just to give you an example. And then we have the base dir, which is the base directory where your task would run. And its value defaults to the directory wherever your XML file is residing, which is this, the current directory. If you want to change it, you can change it and that's going to be the base directory where your task would run. Coming to target, we know what it is. It's essentially going to constitute a list of tasks and when we call this target, the ant is going to execute all the list of tasks present in it. A target can also depend on another target. Let me just explain you what I mean. Let's say I wanted to create another target and I'm going to call it target another target. Now let's say that this target is going to depend on this target. For example, let's say that we wanted to display hello world in two different tasks. I'm going to take out the world part from here. Let me just copy this task and get rid of this. And I'm going to paste it over here. Now we want it to display hello world, but before we display this world, we wanted to make sure that we display hello first. For that, we're going to make this another target as the default target. And we're going to add one attribute here, which is depends and is going to point to the test target. So by default, this target will be invoked and since we said this target depends on another target test target will get executed first and then the control will come into this task we're actually going to take a real-time example of this when i'll show you how to write the build.xml for our project but for now this is a very simple example let's try to run this And sure enough, it displayed hello and then world. So this is a very useful attribute. And coming to tasks, there are a lot of tasks you can perform using AND. And each one of these tasks will have their own corresponding attributes specific to that task. I've actually created a document where I have documented all the list of popular tags which are being used and I'm not going to walk you through right now because a few of these examples are going to use some tags which you're currently not aware of so we'll talk about them first and then we'll get back and try to understand all these tasks so for now I guess this will suffice see you soon